This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. The mass intention is for Colleen Kevin Clark, requested by Bobby Kenvin. Good morning so good to see you. I hope we are all alert and awake to celebrate Mass together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have God, who delight in innocence and restore it, direct the hearts of your servants to yourself, that caught up in the fire of your spirit, we may be found steadfast in faith and effective in works. Grant this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unit of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a barren bush in the desert that enjoys no change of season, but stands in a lava waste, a salt and empty earth. 
Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is the Lord. He is like a tree planted beside the waters that stretches out, stretches out its roots to the stream. It fears not the heat when it comes. Its leaves stay green. In the year of drought, it shows no distress, but still bears fruit. More tortuous than all else is the human heart. Beyond remedy, who can understand it? I, the Lord alone, probe the mind and test the heart to reward everyone according to his ways, according to the merit of his deeds. The word of the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the Pharisees, there was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. And from the netherworld, where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise 
received what was bad, but now he's comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you, a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours or from your side to ours. He said, then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, if they, were not they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. So we know in our lives, whether we are young, or odd, we know what it means to be poor. If you hear somebody talking about another person, that person is poor, you know what it means. Maybe some of you, since you are so young, you may not know. When you hear my mother or dad or our teachers or the staff saying there is a poor man or a poor woman, they no, they are talking about somebody lacking something in life. For example, if somebody has no food, that person is poor. He or she cannot afford to buy food. And if a person has no clothes, just maybe torn clothes, that person we are going to call her or him to be poor because they cannot afford to buy good clothes. If somebody is homeless, they don't have a home, then that person is poor. They cannot afford to have a home. So it is very important, even at your age, to understand that word P-O-O-R, poor. Why? Because like we have heard in the gospel, we need to reach out and help a poor person. Sometimes we can have uh, a moment of poverty. For example, when you are in class and you don't have something that you need to use and somebody has maybe two of those things, you are poor at that time because you don't have it. So you need help from other person. So as we are growing up, we have to know that God has given us so much in life and we have to share with those people who have nothing, no food, no good clothes, uh, no home. We care for them. We may not give them anything, but we have to show them love. Uh, it's not to condemn them, to say you are a poor person, get away from me. No. We have to have love for them and make them feel that they are also human beings like ourselves. That is what we hear from the gospel. There was a rich man and a poor man named Lazarus. The rich man did not share anything with Lazarus. But both when they died, they went to the place which they chose when they are here on earth. The rich man chose riches and he forgot about love he forgot about sharing. He was interested in material world, so he went to hell, to the, uh, the fire, and he was burning, and he was in torment all the time. Lazarus went to God in heaven, and he was happy there. He was no longer a poor man. So the teaching to us as a school, as students, is learn to share what you have, even at home, not just at school. Maybe you have a little brother or little sister or older brother or older sister or cousins. 
and they don't have what you have, share. Okay? You have to share because that person is poor. Um, sometimes you can just lend them to use for the time, maybe it's a toy or whatever. So learn to share when you're at home. Learn to share food, learn to share all that you have uh, with others who do not have. That's what the gospel is teaching us. Because if you only want everything to yourself, then you are being selfish and greed. And sometimes you can grow up like that without the spirit of sharing. So the teaching today, even to us adults, sometimes we forget to share our blessings with other people. Just because everything is good for me, who cares about another person? Work hard, we say. You have to work, you have to go to school. No, we are not given in the same way. So the blessing that we have must be shared with everybody. That is the teaching. So if you do not share, if you do not show that love, today God is telling you, learn to share, learn to love, and be there for those people who have nothing like what you have. That is the teaching. That, that's what we get from our teachers and our members of staff. They share with us. When they bring food, breakfast, they are sharing their time with us. They are sharing the generosity with us. So we learn from them. Don't just say, it's your job. No. There's so much that they are sharing with us. When the teacher is teaching us, it's not just to say it's her job or it's his job. They are sharing the blessings that they got from God so that you become just like them or even more than them. So sharing is a good thing and loving one another is a good thing. So when you are in class, don't make noise when the teacher is teaching because then you are being selfish. You are not sharing the time with other students in class. So when the teacher is teaching, keep quiet until you are told to talk you don't talk. So sharing in time, sharing in good things, that's the teaching of today. So let us be a person like Abraham, our father, that we have heard, who shared everything and went to heaven and receiving all those who did good things on earth. So what we are learning today, love a poor person, share with a poor person, and look at them as a good human person just like yourselves. Let us now stand and present our prayers and petitions to God. Pray for the people of St. Anthony's Parish and staff of our school that they may always be the beacon of hope and love for the students and community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Pope Francis preparing for his apostolic visit to Iraq tomorrow, along with all the people of that land that safety and joy will mark his visit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for hearts made sincere by God so that our thoughts and actions will not be devious, bringing harm to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That every person on earth may heed the word of God and cease to do evil, learn to do good, search for justice, and help the oppressed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all students of our school that they may learn to listen to their teachers and the staff so as to grow in wisdom. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God and Father, receive those prayers we have offered to you this morning, spoken and unspoken through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of man's hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and wake of man's hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. By this present sacrifice, we pray, O Lord, sanctify our observance, that what Lenten discipline outwardly declares, it may inwardly bring about through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come, until you come, until you come again. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord. Until you come, until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring out the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle and Glorious Martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken, let the church say amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious to grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. and blessings will begin from this side starting from the back coming up once we finish this side then we'll start from this side from the back coming up and then this side okay so the, our teachers will guide us from the back there coming from so all those who are here you remain seated and those who are here will be coming first
So I hope all of us have decided to follow Jesus, who was very good to the poor. He gave them the food. He gave them most of the things that they needed. He gave those who are sick, he gave them health. So that is the way we have to be. So I just wanted to see the hands of those who have decided to follow Jesus. Hands up, those who decided. Oh, some of you haven't decided yet. <laughs> Me have decided. Okay, thank you. Let us pray. May this sacrifice, O oh God, remain active in its effects and work ever more strongly within us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before I give a blessing, just wanted to thank you students and the staff. I watched the Black History Program. It was so wonderful. So wonderful. Congratulations. Good job. And do you know my favorite song in that Black History Program? Mr. Fonma. Is it Mr. Fonma? Mr. Telephone. <laughs> that was good. Well done. Again, continue doing what you are doing. So you gave so much to us. I was watching in my office and I was just smiling and laughing. And all those who came, like Obama and all, you know, you did so well. So thank you so much, Larry, the staff, and all your, the students. Those who haven't watched, please go on the website and watch. It's so marvelous, so wonderful. Thank you. Bow your heads for the blessing. Abide with your servants, O Lord, who implore the help of your grace that they may receive from you the support and guidance of your protection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go forth in the love and peace of Christ, the Mass is ended. We in Mass by singing, Lord, I lift your name on high. I lift your name on high, Lord, I love to sing your praises, I'm so glad you're in my life, I'm so glad you came to save us, you came from heaven to earth to show the way, from the earth to the cross, my debt to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save. From heaven to earth to show the way, from the earth to the cross, my dead to pay, from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high, Lord, I lift your name on high.